with uh, Kwame and uh, he's the big guy here today. <laughs> no. So I'm in Ghana and one of the very sought after birds in the world is called a uh, Picathartes. And Picathartes, there are two very strange birds that occur. There is a white necked one and sometimes called yellow headed, and there's a grey necked one, sometimes called red headed, and they're all found. The first is found in West Africa, largely and the other is found in Central Africa. So, at some point it was thought the West African one had disappeared. And then somebody uh, found them, which has turned out to be really good for the community because the community apparently has even built schools and um, um, employing local guides. It's a forest community. So it's one of the very nice stories where um, a bird is discovered and then people around the community start benefiting. Um, and probably this is a model that should be replicated across some of the more strange sightings that we find within East Africa as well. So I want to go to this village called Bonkro. I have a weekend. Um, I had some work and then the work continues over the week, over the next week. So my weekend is free and I've decided to show one of the most unique birds in Africa and one of the birds that most birders in the world would easily travel the world for. Uh, my chances are high in Ghana. I think probably it's a country where getting a picathartes is easiest compared to um, any of the other picathartes that could be in Cameroon, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast. The turn off away from the main village. Yeah, the main villages. Oh, actually, at the school there was a sign with a bird on it. Yeah, with the Yeah. When we come back, you slow down. I. Yes. Can I take a nice short to meet you. video of you? Oh, no problem. Okay. Yes, I'm in the village. Yeah. For the great bird. Sure. Yeah. I'm the local guard for you. Oh, okay. So I'll go with you. Okay. What's your name? I'm Amos. Amos, sir. For probably call me one seed. One seed? Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> one seed. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The cocoa plant. Okay, so this is a different type of cocoa. Okay. Amazingly, I never knew there were three different types of cocoa. <laughs> oh, I can get a smell. Yes. Look at a massive ant, African stink ant. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
What does Nyamebe mean? Uh, like uh, God is nearly to there. Or near or closer. Oh, okay. To the mountain. To the mountain. Ah. It's a big mountain. So God is near to the mountain. Okay. Yes. So Mbepo is mountain. Yeah. yeah. In our local language. Okay. And the local language is? Tree. Tree. Yeah. Ah. It's such a beautiful nest. Yeah, Titilia. One of the smallest birds. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, so it squeezes in through there. Yeah. Okay. Interest. I wonder what material this is. Cotton, cotton. Is this cotton or sisal? Yeah, maybe cotton, huh? Yeah, cotton. Okay. Oh, it's fine. I have. So the Picathartes looks something close to a, um, a mix of different species. It looks something like a rail babbler, something um, some people have even thought they look like a mix of a babbler and a starling. Some people thought that they look like a crow and a rail. So it's a really strange bird that um, has attributes that belong to um, different birds, starlings, rails, babblers. And normally the chances of seeing the Picathartes is when they turn up to their rock colonies, which apparently they do all evenings, and then they're not as shy. If you try to uh, look for them within the forest floor, they're very shy, but when they come back to their um, rock nests, they get very easy to see.
is that a red tailed bristle bill? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something sharp here. What was it? Yep. Well, excellent day spent. The interesting thing is this school has the logo of the bird, yeah. and um, what I read online is as some of the money 